Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at a new version of Firefox. Firefox 77 is now available for um, upgrade. So today, Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. If you want to know if you have the latest, you go to this to the Firefox webpage. You go into the um, help and then you go into about Firefox. This should show you version 77 that is now available. So from the blog post of what's new within um, the Mozilla website, it seems that there's not a lot of stuff in here. So it is um, Firefox 77. This is, of course, released on the uh, stable channel, which is everybody, um, basically, that has Firefox. There's something new if you're in the UK. There's a feature when you actually um, get a new tab open. There's a new feature, and it seems to be in the UK only right now, um, but it probably will roll out eventually to other markets where you have what's called pocket recommendations. So pocket recommendations, what is that feature exactly? It's um, basically kind of um, stories and, and, and news items that are aggregated in that new tab that maybe could be of interest to you. So uh, it resembles a little bit like the stories there's here at the bottom, which is kind of pretty much when we look at the feature and what it looks like, it, it really looks like this. It looks like pocket recommendations of different things. Um, it's going to be curated depending on what you do with Firefox, apparently. So um, this is coming up uh, on uh, some uh, of you, but it seems to be mostly UK that really is using it from what they say here. But uh, pocket recommendations is one of the features. There's also a, a web render that is rolling out uh, to Windows users. More uh, Windows users now available, which means that if you're uh, you got a Windows 10 laptop running NVIDIA GPU at resolutions uh, that are really high, medium and large screens with uh, you know more than like equal to uh, three, four, thirty, four, forty by 1440 uh, pixels, basically. Uh, the web render is going to apparently improve the visibility of web pages and the rendering of the pages uh, for these huge screens, if you want. There's a new About Certificate page. So if you go to About and you uh, go to Certificates, um, apparently this, there's a new page here. So here's, this doesn't seem to be, I'm just going to go here again and type it again about, and we'll go this certificate. Here we go. So there's a new page for certificates that you could see, um, with cert, with, uh, servers and authorities. So this is a new page that makes it easy to see the different certificates that you might be using to actually go on specific web pages. Sometimes you need a specific certificate to have an access or a secure access to a web page or to a server. So this is now a new page to make it easier to see all of this. Apart from that, tons of security updates, tons of security updates. So basically, this is really, really, um, if, if you don't really, you know, first of all, there is, really isn't that much new features from what we see here. But one of the main reasons you should upgrade to Firefox 77 is really for the security updates. There's a lot of them, actually. And a lot of them have high impact. So that means I impact is bad guys might or hackers might already have been exploiting these or now that they know about it will be exploiting these uh, security flaws. So remember, 
you go to your Firefox browser, you go to the upper right corner into the, uh, what we call in the hamburger menu, which is uh, three horizontal lines. Click help and click about Firefox. You will be automatically updated to 77 if you're not there already. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.